This is a, a, a poem I wrote with a photographer, as a collaboration with a photographer named Lucas Folia. And um, the, he was photographing intentional communities, what we used to call utopian communities all around the United States. And um, these are the words of the people that live in these many different communities, which I think come to um, paint a very interesting picture of America. Moving around for the light, a madrigal. The natural order of things, sugar bushing. Some things we do would gross people out because they just don't know. Always was baffled by the connections in life. It's moving around for the light. I thought, that plant's growing before my eyes. It's insane. What the news media don't want you to know about. All the wild edible plants, for instance. Getting on good here, blacks and white. No fossil fuel based technology. I've eaten owl. Wing muscles and leg muscles. That's the only meat on him. So much roadkill. Beavers, otters, raccoon, deer. We cook them up, preserve the hide instead of slashing it. Got it laid out real clear. A lot can be done with duct tape. A bucket of honey between May and August. Who controls oil controls the world. It's a lawyer's racket, but they don't go by law. That's the truth, and people don't even know it. Want to find my bearings in what's real. Started an anarchist collective with 13 others. Like myself, independent people. Mountains seem to draw folks who want to live in wilderness. The biggest problems come from being disconnected. I did really well in school, but I didn't like it. How do you sustain yourself day to day? Take five milk goats and a sack of sweet potatoes, a grist mill, a harness shop. Most people independent enough to live out here like this, they're too independent to listen to each other. <laughs> Feed somebody lunch and they cut your wood all year, that works. Until the kids are grown, don't want to bring others in on account of influence. Some things we do would gross people out because they don't know. Where do you think you come by your pattern for your axe handle? Take your old axe handle and lay it on there. Nobody comes in, nobody leaves. We'll mind ourselves, let us alone. They wear people out so they say, I'll just pay the fine. That's the truth and people don't even know it. I was on her windshield 20 or 30 feet and then she hit the brakes and I flew into a telephone pole. Heard a lot of stories about people's lives. Who needs a house and how much tin? We're different, you can't treat us the same. Garlic, pumpkin, onion, squirrel and they come to learn to make sorghum. Those that have enough guts to live off the land, they're independent people like myself. But I lived in community, lived with the Amish. With them, wood cutting isn't cutting wood. Wood's a byproduct. That's why you can't use chainsaws. Can't talk to someone over a chainsaw. <laughs> Want to move in a way that's more connected, see the cause and effect in my life. Right at the start of my senior year, a natural progression from activism and travel. How do you sustain yourself day to day? And they come to learn to make sorghum, what the news media don't want you to know. Those dogs, they're rabbit dogs. Like to lose that feeling of being a foreigner and find a sense of being at home. Out felling trees alone on a windy day, took my eyes off it for three seconds. A big gust of wind came up and blew it down on me. My first thought was, oh shit, I don't have insurance. <laughs> Which is a really funny thought considering. Let's get this process right. I'm not quitting unless I feel in my heart I'm going to quit. That's the difference between me and other people. Blue heron is good, tastes good. Ever eat a blue heron? Supervisor said there's no common law in Virginia. We don't know how fast it's going to happen. Food's going to be number one. Next is going to be ammo. We figure we'll end up feeding a lot of outsiders. Took my eye off it for three seconds. First thought was, oh shit, it's a right. 
It's always been right. The difference between me and other people. We'll care for ourselves, let us alone. I've got it laid out real clear. Biggest problems come from being disconnected. Beavers, otters, deer, raccoon, I've eaten owl. Hard to feed yourself for a year. Milk goats are the most valuable thing you can have. Banks go down, people can't get money, they'll see what they need. Food's number one, and next is going to be ammo. If bad goes to worst, we'll post a man to keep out strangers. Working to get that other doctor to move here. Like in Vietnam, killing those women and kids, that's not the American mindset, but I think it might come to such. Tanning hides, fire without matches, when others don't, we'll make it. Take five milk goats and a sack of sweet potatoes. You can go anywhere. The natural order of things is when a species gets dominant over its niche. I'm always baffled by the connections. That plant's growing before my eyes. It's instantly felt comfortable here. Skinned my first raccoon, and it looked so much like a fetus, I cried. Don't know how fast it's going to happen, or if it'll happen, but if it doesn't happen, we're not hurting either way. Grew up using a bow and arrow to shoot rabbits. Need to be around like-minded people so I can see the cause and effect in my life. They're really strong personalities. I have a strong personality too. Nobody comes in, nobody leaves. Ever eat a blue heron? Natural order of things. Wing muscles and leg muscles, that's the only meat on him. Where do you think you come by your pattern? Let's get this process right. Want to find my bearings and what's real. Move in a way that's more connected. Mm -hmm.